Hello friends, welcome back to the madhouse. So, I'm just very, very inappropriately about how cute is my dress for what I'm about to do today. Reason being, I've just been doing some work and this is a cute little dress I wore for it. So, you might see a completely different kitchen. I think the last time I vlogged in here, my kitchen was completely gone and now I have a kitchen. So it's absolutely not finished. As you can see, this is the reality. It's literally a building site, but the Navy has gone and the kitchen is and I'll probably do a full kitchen tour when it's ready but today I am basically trying to get things into the kitchen cupboards you can see that like everything's covered up for decorating it's a weekend and I've just come back to try and organize stuff into the kitchen cupboards as much as I can because we're meant to be moving back in soon but I thought I would try so I've been here to get some work done I'm gonna pop a jumper over the top of this and I am going to basically just go through everything in my cupboards and organize them. And my friend Emily was like, are you going to vlog that? And I was like, no. And then she was like, vlog it. So I thought I will take you guys along with me for some organization and some spring cleaning in my new kitchen. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, this is all my builder stuff. It's a tip. I've just had to move all of this to one side because I needed this area for filming. I know, first world problems. My lights are up, they need to be finished. And all of this stuff on here is stuff that I'm going to sort. So I'm going to basically start cupboard by cupboard and I'm gonna take everything out and then I'm gonna put it into order. So it's currently organized chaos, but I want it to be like beautiful chaos. So I basically want to get all of this stuff off here and popped into the right cupboards. And I'm obviously gonna to have to just move the decorator's stuff aside when I do that. Okay, I'm feeling a bit more snuggly now. So I don't wanna pull this off, but I'm just gonna move it to the side and I'm basically gonna take stuff out of it, pop it on here, decide where it goes and organize it in that way. So when I popped stuff in these cupboards initially, I did it in like an organized mess kind of way anyway. So it's kind of in the right places, e.g. glasses are together. That's why I came last night to take a few things out. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I need to vlog this. So like glasses are together and protein things are together and that kind of thing. So it shouldn't be too difficult. She says famous last words. I also just grabbed these out of a box. I ordered them the other day. I just popped the little lights on above and I am so excited about them. Look how perfect they are. This is a shallow dish. This is a big plate, big plate, big dish, and then a big plate. I cannot wait to get this whole collection. I ordered four of each, but I think I'm gonna order even more. Look how good they look with my salt and pepper. They're just divine with the gold detailing and they just look like flowers. How stunning is that gonna be for hosting people? So I'm gonna leave my big, big boxes of things in here that's got like apparatus, if that's a word, right, right word. It's gonna stay in there for now. I can't actually get into this one, unfortunately. And I don't want to ruin the lovely gentleman's work with this. So I'm going to leave that one for now. That can be a surprise. This one is the fridge. It's like a dumping ground in here. Okay, so there's a cupboard right at the top, which you guys can't actually see. And I think I'm gonna put tea in there because it feels like a nice little tea cupboard tucked away. Let me try and make you higher. Really praying my camera doesn't fall down, but tea cupboard. So I'm going to just basically put, you can see I've popped some tea in and I've got some more tea. And I think that's just, it's just a bit of a random cupboard. Oh, so that's gonna be the tea cupboard if I can reach. And then for things like matcha, I want to get an actual like little pot for them. So for now I'm going to pop it in there knowing that I'm going to get a pot for it. And then I think I'm going to put mugs and glasses in here as well. I just think it's the perfect kind of cupboard for mugs and glasses. So here are two of my glasses I bought. How stunning. So this is kind of like a smaller variation of this one. I actually got them from two different places, but they look really nice together. Then I got these glasses, which are absolutely stunning. I actually got these as a Christmas present. So they actually stayed in an Airbnb nearby recently and brought me my presents. Look how nice they are. If you can see the distress on my face, it's because I'm trying not to stand on the millions of things that are underneath me. Okay, more glasses. So I acknowledge that a lot of this stuff is gonna need cleaning. These things are all freshly new and don't need cleaning, but basically what I'm gonna do is once we've got the electrics, the boiler's currently not working, the electrics aren't working very well, all fixed and serviced. I've got someone out coming out on Tuesday to do that. I'm gonna basically put the new dishwasher on and everything and get everything clean. So it seems a bit weird that I'm cleaning stuff for now, but trust me, I just want everything organized. Can we take a moment? 
oh how stunning i really like things matching so i think it's going to stress me out that i've got so many different types of glasses but i'll show you close up and they actually look really nice they're all kind of similar um i feel like they just need to be in sets of twos or four preferably four <laughs> Now I'm thinking, should I actually put wine glasses up there? Because it's a really tall cupboard. Think about doing that. I basically need to figure out what's going to go in each cupboard. But let me give you a quick zoom, because these look so nice. Oh my goodness, how good do they look? So you've got the large highballs, then you've got the medium highballs. So I've got four, then four, then I've got four of those baby ones. How nice. And then these, these are going to be like the fancy glass section. And then I'd popped my teas up there, but I think wine glasses are going to be better suited up there to be honest okay so i think i'm going to take these as like my health foods and my storage for kind of like healthy stuff baking that kind of stuff because i feel like these are perfect whereas these ones are probably more for like dried things I wanted to show you this set that I got for Christmas recently. I know I'm saying recently, but I only opened like smaller Christmas presents recently. It's still available online, so I'll link it under the description box. But look how cute this is! Salt and pepper with a matching little, I don't know what you can call it, spatula. This is for cookies. How cute is that? Although I like my cookies double the size. And then this is like a little plate that you put them on. However, to be honest, I'm probably just going to use this for like, I don't know, soy sauce or butter or something. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have my salt and pepper out or not but they are so cute and they go so well with the kitchen i had a minor panic then i thought oh my goodness what about plates where am i gonna put my plates and then i realized they're gonna go behind me so it looks really messy right now reason being i'm going to i don't know if this is the right word decanter is that the right word i'm basically going to take it all out and i'm going to pop it into like its own jars and stuff because this is just this is not the one i want to have a jar that says protein powder, a jar that says peanut butter, a jar that says baking powder. So I want to get that all neatly labelled. But for now, this is how it's going to be. So I'm now going to move on to my next cupboard. First things first, let's take out what's already in there. Woo! Decision. I feel like you're going to turn around and grab your plates. This is going to be like food, like store cupboard food, which... I just had, and I don't know where I put it. I don't have much else to go in here at the moment because all of my kind of dry food is over at Josie's, my friend's flat that I'm staying at currently. I brought a lot of like glass hair and stuff back over here, but I didn't want to bring all of the dry food because I thought, well, we've got at least another week to two weeks to eat it and get through that. So I think I'm going to try and organise like my fancy glasses, like my wine glasses and stuff. I'm going to check if they're going to fit up there. And if not... I don't know, they might actually be quite nice up there. Guys, I don't know what to do. I feel like, yeah, maybe mugs on the top and glasses. It's hard. Maybe I'm gonna put my wine glasses here because I have quite a lot of them. These are the ones my brother got me. I know they need a real big clean, but how gorgeous. I was completely wrong. I've actually got one, two, three, four, five, five of the glasses that my brother got me. Maybe we've only lost one. Um, some of these definitely need a clean, oh, but I'm going to get them in the right places for now. Check that they're in the right places and then we're going to have like an end of building works clean and I'm going to get everything blitzed then. But for now, let's sort this. I also found these really cute glasses that like hover. So I'm excited to move all of these into the right cupboards now looking gorgeous and look how cute this is so i bought myself this in the sale i just want to put like sangria in it maybe orange juice if i'm doing a brunch and then josie and charlie my friends very kindly gave me this as a gift and oh my gosh neither of us realized that i have the matching jug how amazing so this is like an ice bucket i mean i might just put crisps in it but that's made my day you can close for now because you're making me realize how much work I've got to do and making me stressed. I found this, which has got loads of basically baking stuff in and more kind of things. So baking trays, lots of reusable things, lots of gorgeous little ingredients. As I say, these are all going to go in their very own special spice rack and their own special tubs. But for now, I'm just going to put them in the place where they should be.
Then I need somewhere to put chopping boards, reusable things and vases and stuff so I think I'm going to pop them underneath the oven for now and I also think, well obviously, I'm going to put my oven trays under there. We've got quite the alcohol supply. Most of it I've left outside for now. Then we have a wine fridge and I think I'm going to save the wine fridge for the obvious, wine. And then I'm just thinking my alcohol selection. Right now I'm going to pop it in this cupboard at the end but it's probably going to go better at the very end but I can't actually get into that right now but just so that I can get it out of one of the boxes I say one of the boxes because we've got so many boxes of alcohol so excited to be allowed to host people and have people around to drink it just want to draw your attention to this how cute is it so I'm gonna link everything below that I can under the description box but this is basically a carafe and it really annoyed me at first it only came with one glass because I was like oh I want multiple glasses however it's meant to be used as a night like kind of on a nightstand as like a drink like that but I think I'm going to buy another one I'm going to use one as a vase so I just think look at that design how stunning and then I'm going to use a second one as a glass to probably put like sangria in water whatever for guests maybe some lemon water and um, leave it in the fridge and then serve it in some glasses because you can buy extra ones so I'll link those below but I think that's such a nice idea for like lemon and lime water or blueberries in it. Okay so we are making serious progress look woohoo it's so much clearer so I gave myself a promise that I wasn't going to start on the island stuff until I've cleared this section so I've just got a few more bits to clear and then I can start on the island section and then I feel like I've made good progress. So I almost have too much storage and I just found a cupboard up here that would be perfect for wine glasses but I'm not gonna move them all again now maybe I'll do it at the end if I have the heart I'm gonna continue and persevere and like I say a lot of things are likely to move around and now I'm like oh my gosh I should have put the wine glasses above the oven it's a perfect cupboard but I didn't realize I should have almost mapped this out and written down where everything was gonna go first but alas I did not do that <laughs> So I just found this cupboard which is huge so I'm also thinking could my alcohol stores go in here because a lot could go in there that could be a good idea um but it means I found loads more kitchen stuff so I'm now gonna go through these and pop these into the cupboards we are getting there Woo! these are both empty now which makes me feel amazing I don't know what to do with them yet probably maybe use them for storage in here for stuff but anyway because then I think you get like double the storage for now they're in there that's matte stuff but now I am left with so much more stuff to sort so I've popped the savory stuff away now to pop my baking slash sweet stuff away I knew that there was still loads to get through I thought this is too good to be true So I know it looks like I've thrown everything in for now. I have, that would be why. But I'm gonna measure here. And I'm basically gonna get jars and then I'm gonna take everything out again and pop it into neat jars. Obviously these things that are in like gorgeous jars already can stay, but I just think it will look really cute having it in jars. Also the protein powder that's in here somewhere and the greens powder is so good. You can just throw a scoop of it into your smoothie or into your baking and it's oh, got so much goodness in it but it's so affordable too. I'm gonna to leave a code here, M's20. This isn't an ad, by the way, it's an affiliate ad link, um, but it gets you discount and misfit, so you should definitely use that. Um, it says add on the screen because I make a small bit of commission if you use my code, but you should use it because it's fantastic. Pans, I feel like there's only one place that pans should go, and that would be underneath the hob. What do we think? So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try and pop them under here. I haven't got my whole like kitchen selection yet, so I've not ordered all my plates, I've not ordered all my cutlery, my pans. I just have bits and bobs left from before, bits and bobs that I've been collecting, although I've been trying not to collect too much. Stuff that I got for Christmas, um, and then the idea is that we pop stuff in, we live in it, and then we see what we need to order rather than over-ordering. So I obviously don't have anywhere to pop my cutlery yet. I, I feel like it's gonna be a waste popping my cutlery in here because it's quite deep. But for now, I'm gonna pop it in here with the hopes to maybe buy like a proper tray for it um, and get things organized properly. But I just want to move it off the island and feel like things have a kind of place, I guess. Yes, it's hurting me too, just chucking stuff in. It's not how I want things to be. 
but it's basically like in the middle of still getting things renovated, things still aren't fully finished. But I do want things to just feel a bit more organised and a bit unpacked. So I guess they're just going in their right places until, like I say, I'm literally going to go home tonight and place a bulk order. Now I've done some measurements of kind of like, you know, organisers for my drawers, nice little um, jars with notes and stuff on them. I just want to make everything so pristine and organised. I got really excited about my plugs and my salt and pepper shakers. Ignore the ice in the fridge and my tap and my sink. And just everything and then I was like look at the reality woohoo mess <laughs> but you can see the vibe that I'm going for and I'm so happy with it righty then I think this is probably gonna be for plates so I'm going to pop some plates in here like I say I don't actually have my plates yet but I've got a few also look at this cutlery that my friend Josie gave me oh my goodness I'm in love it's perfect I do actually think that the cutlery makes sense to go up here I think I'm gonna speak to Matt when Matt's back and ask him his opinion yes it pains me putting them in there as well and then I think plates for now the ones that I've got which oh my gosh I'm obsessed can you see my vibe are going to go in here Don't ask me why I didn't get matching. I'm going to have to buy a second one. But I got this for Matt. And I actually got some heart-shaped ones that are wooden. But they've gone a bit manky because they're wooden. So I think two of these proper ones. Little cute fluffy dog. I'm just going to go and collect Matt from somewhere. So when I come back, I'm going to look very disheveled. But then I'm going to ask for his opinion on things. I feel like I've honestly made such huge progress. Um, there's not really much more I can do apart from I can see one tray that needs putting away and some chewing gum that needs putting away So I need to choose a snack drawer. I'm just talking Matt through this and Matt says these are too high Because I can't easily reach them. You've got absolutely no chance So to be honest if you actually put stuff you want you're gonna have to get the step ladders out So trying to get glasses off there we'll end up being more broken than not So the idea is this is gonna be like all food and I'm gonna like obviously have jars and stuff to put the rices in yeah, yeah. do you agree with that mm. and then next up once you jump over this is going to be like sweet stuff and baking so this is all going to go in its own jars obviously because it looks so messy so like the raw cacao would be in a jar the protein powders would be in a jar but this is basically baking stuff Protein powders, baking stuff, superfood powders, all of that stuff. Then the top shelf, I put like stuff for the thermo and like silicone baking stuff. I just thought these are the perfect kind of baking things. Peanut butters, honeys, that kind of stuff. But remember, it will all be in its own jar. This stuff will all stay how it is, but you know, these big things will be jarred up. Maybe. Well, do you have another suggestion? See, I'd be tempted, depends what you've got on the left hand cupboard, but I'd be tempted to use that for like mugs and glasses. So, glasses in here. As well as that. Yeah. Which look amazing. And then I was going to move the teas from up here, and I was going to put the teas in that cupboard over there, because it's next to the hot tap then. And then we can have mugs and teas in that final cupboard at the end, next to the hot tap. Maybe. So for now... I think I've done a good job. This is excess cleaning stuff at the moment and reusable stuff. Because I couldn't use I that end cupboard. Baking stuff down there. Baking stuff down there. Yeah. Actually, placemats and stuff can all go in there well, as we well. Actually, so yeah, let's measure that up today. And then I've put some plates in here. And then do you know what we're going to do for the bottom cupboard? Snack cupboard. We need a best snack cupboard. That's a big I snack cupboard. Top one is a snack cupboard. This top one for the snack cupboard, yeah, that could work it's actually. Just, it's a little bit easier around stuffing around the whole thing. Yeah. I've made good progress, right? You have, but I guarantee everything will be all changed around by the time you actually move in and start putting stuff away. But I've done good, right? You've done good, yeah. Not wasted all of my time, I've done good. I've basically made some serious progress. My approves are a few things that we're gonna change. I can't wait to order stuff. We're gonna do some more measuring up of stuff now. And that's it really for now guys. So I am gonna leave you guys. Don't forget to follow my home account at Michelle Home. I can't wait to show you everything, like the lights, show you the before and after. Everything I've mentioned, I will link underneath the video, but I am so excited. I just think it's looking so good. So this week it's gonna get fully decorated and electrics are gonna get finished 
and there's loads going on. So I will love you and leave you and I will see you guys next time.